Alrighty, I have a two-day construction update packed into one video for you guys. Um, I fell really far behind on editing, but here you go. Um, what has arrived is what you see down there is a new fence. So that right there is what will become a fence. I'm assuming that is going to be the new fence that goes around this new launch tunnel in quotations is what we'll call it for now. Um, because there is evidence, if you've watched the podcast that we did today, um, evidence that there is a little maintenance side tunnel there um, that leads to this little in-ground 10-foot trench below ground level. Um, outside of that, they were pouring concrete. This was on Friday that they were pouring concrete. And on Saturday, they went in and removed some of the forms to expose the concrete. Over at the newest tunnel, um, first thing on Friday, there was no gravel there. As you can see, it's just dirt. Later on the day, you'll see that they laid down gravel. Um, they were getting crock and wagon all prepared, crash and wagon, <laughs> crock and wagon, crash and wagon prepared. Um, the first maintenance tunnel um, was getting ready to pour cement. Over at Extreme Skyflyers Plot of Land, they were digging out the main footings for the ride so that they can be removed. Again, really interesting that this plot of land is having land prep done to it so early. The park did not refer to it in terms of its April t kind of in quotations teasers. Um, so it is a very interesting project in terms of where does this fit in terms of 2025, 2024, 2026, 2027. But again, we shouldn't be seeing something like this taking place for such a future project. Um, over at Front Gate, again, there is work going on to redesign um, its aesthetic. So looking forward to what that's going to look like. Um, again, over at the second tunnel, lots of concrete work going on. Um, really curious um, to see what's going to happen. Again, there's not much they can do inside of that mountain. It has been extremely misleading what they can do in there. Um, but with the Mountain Wonder Mountains Guardians drop track, uh, Thunder Runs Helix, the washrooms, again, you have to remember the washrooms take up a very large right side corner. Um, of the mountain facing this direction and um, a little bit of Wonder Mountains Guardian Station, it becomes just this back corner that is free for space. You also have to remember there's a lot of plumbing at the front end of the mountain near the falls. So what you see here on the screen from this new tunnel, tunnel number three, over to the tunnel number two, there's somewhat of a really chubby L formation that Wonderland has to work with with this project so hopefully that makes sense to you guys you know what maybe right here i'll throw up a graphic for you to kind of show you my thought process for this over at thunder runs old station they've kept two buildings i can now confirm that those two buildings were kept because of their electrical components so they are keeping the old power supply for that ride available so it'll be really interesting to see um, what that ends up being um, I keeping an eye on antique cars, uh, plot of land to see if anything happens with that. Um, but no signs of anything yet. We are really early into coaster construction. So if you look back at a project like Leviathan, um, they only had the station area bulldozed, um, when the park opened end of April, beginning of May, um, the year prior to it actually opening. So keep in mind that we are still really early in terms of construction. So what we're seeing right now is a lot, but it is an extremely confusing project. Anyone covering this project um, can probably vouch that there's just so much going on in large, vast parts of the park. It is very confusing to connect it all still. Over here at maintenance tunnel number one, um, they poured the concrete later on in the day and they covered it in tarps to per weather protect it. Mindbuster has its track installed. Um, honestly, it's looking really good. Really liking the style um, of, uh, I love when wooden coasters are retracked and they look like this. Um, it just, the only odd thing is that it stands out so much where it almost becomes an eyesore in itself. But I'm really curious to ride Mindbuster this season and see how much it's improved it. Um, so here's a shot of the finished product over at tunnel number two. As you can tell, you can kind of see that little cutout section, that little in quotations maintenance tunnel um, that I was referring to. Over at Ghoster Coaster, maintenance was hard at work. 
Um, what I am assuming, I am not 100% sure what this process is, but if I was to make a wild guess, um, they're checking for any um, misshaping that would have happened in the off season or misalignment with the track. So that's what that device looked like. Um, so really cool. Wonder, it's a really thorough process that Wonderland has to go through um, to have their rides ready at the beginning of the season. So I just wanted to showcase that in today's construction update for you guys today. Um, in terms of if rides are going to be ready, um, again, Thunder Run, I have heard no delays in operation and that it should be ready to go on opening. I've heard the same thing for Guardian. While it's crazy to think that Guardian will be ready for open, I have heard of no delays yet in terms of Guardian's operations and being ready. In fact, from last I've heard, they're getting Guardian ready already um, in terms of working on the trains. So uh, we'll have to see. Um, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Hopefully you enjoyed the podcast as well. Um, comment down below any questions and I'll try and answer them. Have a good one, guys. Bye.